Mariha from Old Town Phuket. In our last video, we took quite the journey to get here to Thailand. And now today, we are rewarding ourselves with a huge food tour right here in Old Town. stop is a breakfast of sorts. We're going to Roti Tao Nam. It's a roti restaurant and they're only open from 7 a.m. to 12 noon every day. We'll have the number two. It's 11.30, we haven't even had breakfast yet, but we're starting with dessert, and quite possibly my favorite dessert in Southeast Asia, which is a banana pancake. I typically get it with peanut butter, but since it's breakfast, it's banana and egg, and then, of course, a highly, highly condensed sugar milk for taste. <laughs> oh my gosh. The roti, which is the breaded portion, nice and crispy. The banana tastes extremely and perfectly ripe, and condensed milk tastes like condensed milk. It's amazing on any of The roti is so crispy. It is. We also got roti with egg, so it's just fried roti, so it should be nice and crispy, and then a fried egg right on top, and you just mix it all together to get those different textures. And everybody was ordering the curry, so we also got the curry, and we'll try that all together too. Perfection. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the egg is so good. It looks and good. This roti is like ridiculously crispy. It's like so flaky. Mm. Yeah, you can like you can hear the crunch. Mm -hmm. So it's chicken curry, very like curry flavored. It's really good. I think if you dip some roti in it, mm. it's good. Good. But I like just the egg and the roti. Just the egg and the roti. Pretty chicken though. For today's food tour, we are following the Michelin Guide for Street Food here in Phuket. This restaurant, as well as others that we will visit, is considered a bib gourmand, which means it doesn't qualify for a Michelin star per se, but that they consistently put out exceptional quality at a moderate price. Here in Thailand, a moderate price is considered no more than 1,000 baht for a three course meal. Yeah. Thank you so much. are going to miss that bike, but the food tour must go on. So we are taking a grab ride from here back to Old Town. We're on to our second stop here. This is Ocha Rat, another Bib Gourmand restaurant from the Michelin Guide for Phuket Street Food. And we're getting noodle soup with beef balls. on Google Maps is Ocha Rot Beef Ball Noodle Soup. So I didn't expect anything else. But it looks like we have noodles with beef balls and some like additional beef and then green onions. Yeah, I'm gonna try beef ball first. I think I might actually be a beef ball. Like the... Mm-hmm, it's good. Is it? Mm-hmm, it was just different than the meatball texture I was expecting. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Just beef? I think it's beef. Okay. Obviously very moist because it's in broth, but it tastes like hot roast meat. Mm. Very salty, very like warm, even though it's like 90 degrees outside. <laughs> oh, it's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's bean sprouts. Mmm. Mm. I'm gonna put some red pepper on there. Alright, we're dialing up the heat a little bit with some red pepper flakes. Mm. 
definitely spicier now. I put too much on yours. I think you spilled a little. Sorry. That's okay. You know, I like spicy. When you eat all these, like, fatty pieces. Oh, you really need to put in there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I love that they proudly present their Michelin flags. And after spending 120 baht for those two dishes of excellent food, I would say they've more than earned it. <laughs> We are getting our steps in between restaurants to hopefully burn off some of the food. And we found this super cute postcard shop. And we actually send postcards to all of our Patreons. So if you're interested in getting a handwritten postcard from us, make sure you subscribe over on Patreon. One of these corners. And she'll write it so you can actually read it. <laughs> We are at Mi Tan Po for charcoal fried noodles and satay. We got pork satay. My only complaint about chicken satay or pork satay, because I honestly love the dish so much, but every time we've ordered it in the past, we get three. And I know the simple solution is just to buy another one and get six, but I just feel like four is a better number. But right as I was about to say this, endless satay. Look at all of that. I'm so happy right now. It's delicious. It's like a thinly sliced tender pork chop. You get a little bit of that smokiness from the grill because you could just see it when they put the sauce on, it just like steamed up. That's all in the meat. The peanut sauce is to perfection. I don't know the exact temperature today, but five minutes ago that was ice, like toppling over, not ice water. We got one of the recommended dishes, which is mi pad hoi ken, I think. <laughs> it's fried yellow noodles with pork, shrimp, fish balls, and vegetables, and a fried egg on top. That was a lot to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is so good. Relax. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. Fried noodles. Bomb.com. I'm so excited right now. I love this. We should have just come here today. Just kidding. I love all the places, but. Mm. Only 150 baht for all of that. Thank you. The last place we went was not a bib gourmand, but it was a Michelin plate. And the reason that we're following the Michelin guide so closely is because it's such a trustworthy source, especially when we are looking at street food. Wow. This is straight pack. Oh my god. <laughs> our final stop for our main meals today turns out to be the most popular one. There's not even a place for us to sit right now. They only opened like 40 minutes ago. Okay, we're next in line. I just ordered organs. The Michelin Guide just started rating restaurants in Phuket in 2019, and Go Ben's restaurant, where we are now, has been on the list since then. The main dish is dry boiled rice with soup. I see the rice, and I see bunch of organs and the server was actually really nice. He said before we actually completed the order that there are organs, are you okay with it? He just said sure. So I don't know what it is or what they are. It's kind of a uh, mystery mixture. At this point, I don't know what it was. I don't feel like it was hard. It just didn't have the right texture that I've had for a couple of the dishes we've tried. But it doesn't have a lot of flavor, to be honest. It's pretty mild. And overall, I just taste buttery and salty rice. So this is the rice porridge with pork. And I think it's just actually like regular pork meat this time, not organ. But these are two of their most popular dishes. They really only have like five on the menu, though. And people love it. Oh, how hot. Oh, it's so good though. It's like rice in a broth, which is like super salty and full of flavor. And I love green onions and shallots on my dishes, so this is really nice. The most expensive meal, but definitely the biggest portions we got. 200 baht got us two like full size meals. Thank you.
This street was thriving last time we were in Phuket. Busy all day, all night. Now, there's no one and everybody closes at six o'clock. This is the second place we've tried to get mango sticky rice. And I just think it's a lost cause at this point, unfortunately. Mm. But we're not leaving Thailand yet, so we're still gonna get it, just not tonight. But we really hope that you liked this food tour here in Phuket. It was incredible. It was so good. And I'm full and I'm ready for a nap of about eight to 10 hours. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> So if you did hit the like button below and if you want to stamp your passport with us again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys in our next video. Good night. Fast. <laughs> we, hold on. Today, no. My arm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>